What's up everybody, it's the RCL Man here. Welcome to another tutorial video here in Rec Room. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys all about the look at gizmo, how you can use it to look at people, objects, all the settings you can mess with, everything like that. First of all, big shout out to King and Friends for requesting this video tutorial. But first, to get started, you need the actual gizmo. So let's go into the maker pen and let's hit open palettes, go to gadgets, gizmos and look at gizmo so there you go um now it's only got two things you can mess with out here uh, we've got the red pin which is basically the on off switch and go ahead and configure that so i can turn it on and have it working and then we've got this little nub thing over here which we're going to have to attach to some item um let's go ahead and make a triangle thing so you can see exactly what it's pointing at even if you can't see the actual uh, object so let's wire that up here all right so now even if i don't have maker pen you can see what it's pointing at <clears throat> all right so let's start messing with the settings here configure there are two different modes that the look at gizmo has it's got object mode and player mode uh, we're going to do object mode now just because it's easier but player mode we'll get into a little bit later we need to tell this look at gizmo what to follow and we do that with tags so let's tell it what tag it needs to follow we're going to make it something easy like one two three there we go and then right now so right now it is set to follow any item that has the tag one two three but we don't have any items with the tag one two three at the moment so let's make something we're just gonna make let's just make a little cube here make it a different color so it's not so there we go all right so we have this cube and we need to give it the tag of one two three so let's configure it and give it the tag one two three there we go and then you can see it immediately starts following it and if i grab this whoops it's not grabbable so let's configure it and make it grabbable and if i move this you can see it's going to follow it wherever it goes okay so now what if you have multiple objects with the same tag well it has a setting for that let's go ahead and configure it again right um, and you see tracking multiple tagged objects um, right now it's set to average so if I clone this and make another one and you can see whoops, let's go ahead you can see it's kind of pointing to it but if I move this over again you'll see more what I'm talking about so it's not pointing directly at the object it's pointing at the average point between these two objects let me go back here so the average is what it's pointing at. Now you can switch it to closest. When you switch it to closest and then you start moving these things around, it's gonna only move to the closest thing. So if I put this here and then I grab this and I move it closer, you can see it just switches to the closest object to it. There's one more setting I wanna mess with before we move into the player uh, mode. It's the smoothing amount. So let's delete one of these. All right and configure that again so the smoothing amount basically determines how quickly it looks at whatever it's trying to look at at the moment if i move this it pretty much moves instantaneously to it but if i switch the smoothing to let's just say five here all right now when i move this object it takes a little while to get there all right so if you don't want it to move quite as fast you can just change the smoothing and make it work that way now let's move on to player mode okay so now let's move on to player mode uh, let's configure this again and let's switch to player mode now with player mode you are gonna have to know how to use roles and how to make new roles if you don't know how to make new roles I've got a video up here in the card as well as linked in the description pause the video go learn how to use roles and stuff uh, and then you can come back and use this because you have to know how to do that to go beyond this point Really quickly, I am going to make a device that will give me a new role so we can get this thing working. Okay, so at the moment I have made a new role. The role is called RCL, and you can see it here on the roles list. Uh, if I hit show only my roles, it's not assigned to me yet. So when I hit this button, the role RCL will be given to me. 
and there we go all right now that we have a new role and we have somebody assigned to that new role we can tell this thing to follow that role so let's configure it again and let's say player role rco now when i exit out it should start following me okay so there is another option you can mess with when it comes to player mode. Um, there is choose tracking target. So we can choose either the head, the hand, left hand, or right hand. So if I go ahead and do left hand here, and then pick this back up, you can see it's following my left hand. And if we do right hand, you can see it'll follow my right hand. And then if you switch it to hands, and if you switch it to hands, um, it basically treats it like multiple objects. So if we go back here, uh, right now it's going to look at the closest hand. So if I do this, the closest hand is the one it's going to go to. But we can switch that to average, um, and then you know we can we can do it, treat it just like multiple objects, like last time. Well, that's about everything for the look at Gizmo. If you did like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Have a good day, everybody. RCL man out. Oh,